Hi, Lake Grove. For our Reservoir Devotional Guide today, we are right near the beginning of the book of Acts, chapter 3, the first few verses. It is a stunning story of a spirit-empowered life. Peter and John, devout disciples, are walking along, heading to their evening or late afternoon prayers at the temple. And here they encounter a lame beggar who is just waiting right outside those temple gates and taking whatever handouts he can get. Now, this is really essential for us to see in this story is his location and the location of Peter and John. They are crossing the threshold into the synagogue, into the temple, where they can take part in all the beauty and the ritual and the rhythm of a life with God, pouring out the love they've received, that new Holy Spirit experience that they've had. They're not letting go of their old rhythms and rituals, but now they're walking into them and living them in a new way. But as they can easily cross that threshold into the temple, hear this lame beggar is sitting and he is just sitting right outside the temple, never invited in, never able to walk in to a life with God, into that rhythm and ritual that would not only say his rightness with God, but also that he was part of the community. Because by his fact of sitting there, many people thought, well, that's where he belongs right at the edge, on the outside, never to enter in. So here, Peter and John, fresh from their experience of Pentecost, remember that? We just heard about it, so really you can't take this story away from that story where the Holy Spirit has rushed in on all the disciples and they can see the presence of God so powerfully, it's like flames on their head. And that amazing gift has led them to understand one another, no matter where they were from. They could speak to one another and understand one another in their own language. That's a vital and empowered life. But so here, Peter and John, they're still walking their regular day, the rhythms that they would keep of going to prayers. And they encounter this beggar right on that threshold where he asks them, hey, I need some money. They turn to get his attention and they say, we don't have that, but my, oh my, do we have something else? And what we have, we give to you. And then here's the remarkable story. He stands up, walks, and then he leaps, and then is shouting and proclaiming joy and praise to God for this amazing gift. The man that was permanently stuck on the outside, on the other side of the gate, not even physically able to walk across, is now able to do so because of this powerful gift that Peter and John gave of the Holy Spirit living in them that brings this man to healing. And then he enters into that sacred space, into that rhythm and ritual with them. He crosses thresholds with them. Did you catch what they call that gate? The beautiful gate. The beautiful gate. Oh, how beautiful it is that through the power of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we get to live a generative life that is constantly inviting and bringing others in who are outside into the presence of God through the company of one another and then literally into that temple, into this space of prayer and giving and praise and connection and meaning. One last thing I want to highlight from this passage. Peter and John are very clear. We can't give you what we don't have. We would love to give you what we do have. Don't let yourself get all tied up in what you don't have and you can't give. Give what you have. And don't do any, uh, you know, downplaying of it or, you know, God doesn't work this powerfully in me. I don't know. I'm way too shy. I'm way too this. Offer God as much as you have in the places that you're called to and let the Spirit work. Beloved Lake Grove, God is with you.